morning, you guys. It's actually the afternoon. I just took a shower and I'm getting ready right now. I am going back to work. <sighs> this is my first day back to work since the whole Rona thing happened. I'm only going in for a really short time, which is nice because I don't really want to be there that much. This is actually a really, really busy week for me. I have so many things going on. It is insane. I mean, I'm usually busy and have like multiple things going on at the same time, but like right now I have like way too much on my plate. <laughs> and on top of that, I gotta go back to work. Yay! Yay. We, love we love that, that for, for me. me. It's just like always hard dieting when you're like super duper busy because I feel like that is when we make the most unhealthy decisions ever because you're just crammed, you don't have a lot of time. Unhealthy food is just really easy to just grab and get on the go. Who has time to chop salad? I think it's like 1 or 12 o'clock. I have not eaten breakfast yet and I think I'm gonna just have something light because every time I go into the city, I eat something unhealthy. I have like a lot of design work stuff that is happening this week. I'm so glad that I taught myself how to use like design software because it has been coming in handy so much. As a lot of you guys may know, I'm like currently opening up an online store. So there's a lot of stuff happening with that. Why am I screaming? And also I need to design the bags for the collaboration with Victoria's Wigs and oh my god I'm so excited guys. I'm designing merch, merch. finally I didn't want to have any merch because like I wanted to be able to design it myself And now that I know how to use my design software. I have come up with two designs I'm so excited. I can't wait for you guys to see it I don't know if you guys have been noticing but I've been like inserting these weird little cartoon characters I'm just like testing stuff out. I don't know. I don't know yet. So that's happening I don't know. I just know like all of this work I have to do would be so much faster if I had a new laptop. Oh my God, speaking of new laptops, I don't know what happened, but suddenly I just got a whole bunch of donations for the laptop, like, holy poop. Yeah, a lot of you guys wrote me and were like, why don't you start a GoFundMe, why don't you start a GoFundMe? I just, I don't like asking people, especially for money. I think that's just not my character, but I really, really appreciate you guys offering and, you know, trying to help and support. That means so much to me. Like, I cannot tell y'all how grateful I am. So yeah, I'm not gonna launch any GoFundMe, but I've always had like a donation link in my description box. Like if anybody wanted to donate toward like a specific video or just, you know, the channel in general, cause YouTube takes a lot of money to make these videos. Recently, I got some donations towards the laptop and oh my God, I would really like to thank everyone Everyone who donated, please, 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 please do not feel the need to donate. You do not, absolutely do not have to. The only thing I want from my subscribers is for y'all to be here, to enjoy my content, and to watch the videos. That's it. But I definitely wanted to come on here and say thank you to the people that did because that is very, very sweet of you and I was not expecting that. I was like, what's going on? Have you ever had to call the bank and be like, hi, yeah, there's money in my account? No, 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 I don't think it's mine. Did you put it there? I didn't put it there. Thank you guys, you guys are freaking awesome. I don't I don't know about the other channels, but I just know my subscribers are the absolute best that there is. <laughs> this is the part where you can either be cute or shoot. Amy Winehouse, fudge. Oh, this is hard, I'll be back. So I'm sitting up here curling my hair and I just realized there's like a full on windstorm outside, so. Of course it mellows down when I try and show you how aggressive it was. This is the season where you absolutely cannot have curled hair. You just can't. It will be flat the second you step out of the door. I need to make something for breakfast because I have had nothing. What are we making for breakfast? Cereal. No, we can't do cereal. We gonna do a green smoothie. I swear that is like the secret to finding your inner truth. Try it out, guys. If you're ever like pressed and you can't make a decision between two things, ask someone else. You will discover your true feelings in their answer. For example, I'd be like, red or pink? And then like, based on their answer, I'll figure out what I actually want. So like, if they said like pink and I felt happy, that means that I actually wanted the pink. My friends would be so mad, like, why did, why you, did ask you ask me if you was just gonna pick, pick what you wanted, you wanted anyways? anyways? Because I didn't know what I wanted until I asked you what I wanted and figured out what I wanted. Does that make, what was I doing? Breakfast. Be getting distracted. Breakfast. So yeah, I'm just gonna make a green smoothie really quick, light and easy, and it'll definitely fill me up until I get to Kawasaki. I'm gonna use some frozen bananas and some frozen mixed berries. Superfood greens. And I know a lot of people like their smoothies like thick. I actually like mine watery, so yeah. I put in water. Oh, it's too thick. And I'm also gonna add in some chia seeds. Done. 
The chia seeds really help with like keeping me full for a little bit longer. So they didn't add any protein powder in this. It's just like blended fruits. I'm so sorry if you guys can hear that storm. It is getting crazy outside. Ooh, I really don't want to go out in this. So yeah, like I said, today is my first day back at work. So I am about to head out and go to Kawasaki. I'm going to go there a little bit early because I want to check out the furniture store. There's this really cute little furniture store that sells like really cheap pieces. And I need a new like side table where I keep all my nuts and stuff. I don't know. It's starting to get a little lopsided. Slide, Slide to the left. left. Slide to the right. I think my blender is too heavy and it's making it like tilt. Gotta pick up another one of those, but it was only like 10 bucks, so not, not a problem. Douglas, what are you doing? Uh, also, also, Kawasaki has Panda Express. Guys, uh, I've been doing really good with my diet and I deserve treats every now and then, okay? Okay. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get some Panda Express. I wanna say it's not that bad, but it actually has a lot of sodium in it, so I'm not even gonna try and lie to y'all like, I'm getting beef and broccoli. You're getting MSG. At least breakfast is healthy. Also, I will finally say I don't like mixed berries. I bought a bag of mixed berries and I've been really trying to like finish it off, but I've just discovered that I don't like mixed berries. Like, I don't know how you guys do it. Like raspberries and blueberries have seeds in them. Why am I chewing a smoothie? And also on like some really petty stuff, I don't like how the berries mixed with my greens make it turn like this ugly brown color. That is so petty. But like, it, it don't even look aesthetic anymore. It just look like I'm drinking. I'm not gonna say it. It's really windy out there. Uh-uh. I'm about to call off. How you gonna call off when you work once a month? Anyway, so I'm gonna finish my smoothie, play with Doug for a little bit, and then we're gonna head to Kawasaki. Hey, baby. Yes, hi, Douglas. Say hi. Oh, what a good boy. You wanna say hi? You wanna say please subscribe? Oh. You hear that, y'all? Douglas said please subscribe and hit the like button so he can get more treats. Right? Right, baby? Right, baby. Also, I really need to pop my nails off. Doug says, yes, let me help you. Basically, what happens is I do my nails, they're cute. By the end of the day, this one is gone because I suck my thumb and I can't go that long without sucking my thumb. By the end of the next day, this one's gone because I need a text. So I don't know how this happens, but it just, it always happens. Still here? Oh my god, this is so cute. No, Sunday. Oh, I want to go on a picnic. This is the one, but they have it in white. Now I low key want to switch to white. <gasps> and it's 16 bucks. <gasps> and look what I found. Exactly what I was looking for. Is this like too grandma y? I like this beach bag though. how hard it was for me to not go to Panda Express 
So yeah, I'm very proud of myself. I did not get Panda Express. I got something healthy. Um, there's like this handmade rice ball shop that's like right outside of my company. So good. So I got like two tuna rice balls and some miso soup. I'm gonna go to work and I will check in with y'all later. <laughs> So I am done and I came to this little shopping area because I want to go to Kiehl's really quick and pick up like some skin oil, my nighttime ones that ran out. Um, after that, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and then figure out what I'm gonna get for dinner. I swear, Kiehl's be taking all my money. Oh my gosh. Look at this, look, oh my God, do you see this? Yes. You guys have been in my bathroom so much recently. I know, I'm sorry. Holy, Holy poop. poop. It is sunny outside and it's not supposed to be. The things that excite me. It is 7.30. I woke up. I woke up and I stayed in bed for like 40 minutes checking emails and just doing like online stuff. And I usually do not sit in bed that long, but I thought it was raining today. So I was like, there's no point of getting out of bed early. But the sun is out, the sun is out. That means I'm out. Okay, lip tint isn't even hard to put on. Why is it all over me? The sun is out, which means I'm gonna go for my run. I freaking love running, guys, you guys know that. And I don't have a gym right now. So that's like, I don't know, that's a good, where is my dang sunscreen? So I basically just wake up, I put on sunscreen, I go for my run, after my run, I wash my face. I have so, so much work to do. And I still haven't popped off these freaking nails. I tried last night, I got sleepy and I fell asleep. Today, we're gonna go for my run, go to the convenience store, pay my rent, pay my credit cards, come back, do a whole bunch of work, and pop off these nails. Today's very boring, I'm just staying inside all day, as I'm about to run out the door. I'm staying inside. <laughs> After my run, I'm staying inside. Gorgeous. Good morning. You're still sleeping. Okay. to accept a package at like, I don't know, maybe nine. So I don't have much time, but I am loving the sun. about to make some dinner. I'm just gonna make some pasta because I have like a whole bunch of veggies that I need to cook before they go bad. For me, like the easiest thing is to just throw together a pasta. So I'm just gonna make some kind of veggie pasta. I'm just sad though. I don't have mixed greens right now. And y'all know I always like to mix in some greens with my pasta, but at least I had a zucchini so I can do like half pasta, half zoodles. I just use my little spiralizer to make these. I don't know what kind of noodles I wanna use. I found these a while ago. Brown rice fettuccine noodles, they're vegan. And I also have this red lentil pasta, but like I've been like saving these because they're so special. But I think it's time to cook them. I don't know. I feel like, obviously, the zoodles go better with fettuccine noodles, but I'm kind of in the mood for these spirals.
this. I went ahead and used those spiral noodles because I just really wanted to. They definitely don't really taste like pasta. Like, I know it's some lentils. <laughs> I'm just sitting here editing this vlog for you guys. So normally I would have been done with this like yesterday, but because of the laptop, I'm still here. So this came out really, really good. As you can see, it's just a bunch of veggies, pretty much. And the red lentil pasta, which is really good. I actually really like this. So yeah, I'm just gonna eat lunch for a little while, finish editing this video, and maybe clean up. Don't really know. It just depends on how long it takes me to finish this junk. Someone got an iHeart package. The flip are these? I swear, they just keep getting more and more creative with the packaging. Now, you mean to tell me I gotta individually pop each of these stupid things? What? What? Uh. So, for people in Japan or just abroad, I love to get my stuff off of iHerb, and it actually comes really fast, in my opinion. Not so exciting, but I got some coconut oil. Okay, I've never tried this product before, but I really wanted to try it out. It is paleo baking flour. Not trying to exactly go paleo, but I'm definitely trying to cut down on the carbs. The ingredients are almond flour, arrowroot starch, organic coconut flour, and tapioca flour. So this is very interesting if you want to try this out as like a substitute for flour. I've been doing a lot of, uh, I won't call it baking, Mi microwave baking. I've been putting a lot of stuff in the microwave that has flour in it. This is gonna be interesting. Got the BCAA. This is what I use for my pre-workout, but I've never actually tried this brand. I mean, it says Mango Madness. Like, how do you, how do you not put that in your basket? Zero calories, zero carbs, zero sugars. I don't know about that, but it got something in there. Some maca powder. It's just basically something nutritional that you can mix into your smoothies or your yogurt or whatever you want. Um, it helps with energy, which is definitely what I need right now. And just balancing out the body. I've been looking into all kinds of different plant-based superfoods, y'all. I, I need everything I can get. If you're wondering about the taste, it's like a nutty, nutty taste. I mostly mix this in with my smoothies and my yogurt bowls. Probably the most excited about this one out of everything that I got, because I've never tried this. Or have I? I don't know. It says corn grits, y'all. Okay. I watch a lot of those like silent what I eat in a days, like people that just cook and they just show their food. They don't show their face. They're not talking. Cause I like to cook and I like to learn new recipes. One of them, which I can't find, she used this. She called it polenta. Polenta. No idea what that is. And I looked and I was like, is that grits? Is it grits? I know grits. I don't know polenta though, who's she? If this is just grits, I'm actually still gonna be really excited because I haven't been able to find grits since I moved here. And the last time my family came, they bought me grits and they spilled everywhere and I lost them all. <sighs> the grits I use aren't yellow. This is yellow, but she had this in her breakfast. She mixed a bunch of blueberries in there. It looked really good. I'm gonna try this out and let y'all know how it is. Like, is this an oatmeal substitute? What are we doing with this? I don't know, but I'm excited. Next, never heard of this before. It had some really great ratings. I was like, whatever. Herbal slimming tea. Honestly, I just use Timmy's skinny tea. Uh, their colon cleanse tea is like second to none, but I wanted something a little bit easier to drink like really quickly. And I really wanted some tea bags because the Timmy's tea uh, uses like loose tea leaves. And sometimes I'm really lazy. I Sometimes I'm really lazy. Not done with the tea. Yogi Peach Detox. Guys, I love this brand as well. So yeah, teas and just detox teas are just a really great way to get me to drink more liquids. Next, not very exciting. This looks boring. I got some probiotics. And I got these because I've been so jealous of everybody in their freaking coconut yogurt. If I see one more person with coconut yogurt that I can't have, I'ma flip a table. I bought this because I'm hoping it could be a butter substitute, but We'll see. It says raw coconut butter, whole coconut puree. I don't know, but the ingredients just says raw organic coconut. That's what I'm talking about. Lastly, a bunch of seasonings. Woo, this is probably the most important one. Also the one that I just somehow could not find here in Japan, red pepper flakes. I put these on everything. If you like spicy, this is the secret to dieting. Like it don't matter what it is. Just sprinkle some of these on there and you good. Like you don't need salt, you don't need butter. Recently I've been buying 
all of the spices from this brand. It is called Frontier Co-op. I bought a bunch before from them. I absolutely love them. So this time I got a bunch from them again. This one is very exciting. Is it though? Chipotle smoked red jalapeno. I just know that's gonna be good. And all of their stuff is like amazing. Non-GMO. I don't know what non-ETO means. What is ETO? Does anybody know what that means? ETO, it's on the back. <laughs> love that, love that for us. ETO means something I can't read. <clears throat> Ethylene? F F Yo uh, uh. Oxide. ETO means <laughs> oxide. Is a sterilization chemical commonly used in the spice industry, but never by us. Don't know what that is, but it sounds like we don't need it in our spices. Basically, they got some really clean, nice spices. So yeah, I got some garlic powder because I cook with garlic powder a lot, if you have not noticed. Got some Cajun seasoning, which will also be very, very fun. Will it though? It's cayenne pepper. Like, is life even complete without cayenne pepper? Last but not least, some onion powder, which again, I use pretty much on everything. One teaspoon is equal to about a third cup of chopped real onions. I love how they put all these facts and details on there. So again, I mentioned this with the jewelry company that I always use. I'm trying to move towards more sustainable brands to actually care about the environment. There you go, not sponsored. So today is so boring. It's just another work day inside. So, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here and then we'll pick up with episode four. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I can make more videos. And yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Yeah.